with two breaking news stories. First, people in our community want answers about how a young father died. Good evening. I'm Leslie Foster. D.C. police officers say uh, that they were chasing Karan Hilton when he crashed his moped into a car, but some say that story doesn't add up. And tonight, they're protesting outside a D.C. police station. They want to see the body camera video. Jess Arnold is live along Georgia Avenue with that story. Jess? Yeah, Leslie, D.C. police are still blocking off the perimeter around the 4th District D.C. police headquarters after a protest for Karan Hilton led to rocks, bottles and bricks being thrown at officers. A mother desperate for answers and a girlfriend left alone with a three month old baby. I'm in disbelief after 20 year old Karan Hilton died when D.C. police say they tried to pull him over for riding an electric moped on a northwest D.C. sidewalk without a helmet Friday, and he crashed. His girlfriend, Amala Jones Bay, says he was riding to retrieve his car keys from a friend's house. Over a moped and some car keys, my, he lost his whole life. Police say he hit another car, but friends say the cops hit him. They brought their anger to the 4th District D.C. headquarters Tuesday to protest, and tensions erupted. Protesters broke two windows. Police pushed them back, forming a line in front of the building. And for about 30 minutes, they stayed like that, with protesters demanding accountability. And they have yet to put out any police report, any body camera footage. Then it got volatile, with bottles and rocks thrown at police, the windows of a cop car destroyed, fireworks set off. But at the end of the day, this young mother's priority is her three-month-old daughter, who now has to grow up without a father. One thing for certain, two things for sure. She won't know her father loved her for one, most importantly, because she won't know her father. Now, within the last hour, D.C. police have shared that they made one arrest tonight and that four officers were injured with what they believe to be non-life-threatening injuries. Leslie.